What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this new video about Solana, which I haven't covered in, in quite a long time, uh, at least a week. And I think before that also, I haven't covered it for a couple of days. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a big fan of Solana. It's one of the most controversial projects. Um, but I do know a lot of you are interested in Solana. A lot of you have invested in, the, in, in, in Solana. And I do think it's an interesting project. I mean, it, it definitely has its flaws. Um, but it's also very fast, low transaction fees, etc., etc. So um, just wanted to take a look at it today. It's relatively bullish. It's up 5%, uh, about 3% against the market. So nothing major. I mean, it's I, I didn't pick it because it's, it's that bullish today. So... Um, volume is, is, is great. It's, it's at 13% of the market cap. Now, normally that isn't that high, but with a 12.5 billion market cap, um, that's quite high. Uh, if, also, if you compare it with other cryptos such as Cardano, which is a little bit stronger right now, here you can see it's at 5%, um, at, at 750 billion. So, um, it, volume is definitely high and that's great, I think, because that allows us to have some breakouts that also allows us to do more. Uh, reliable technical analysis. So the main thing we see with Solana right now, and excuse me for this trend line, it's it's not a beautiful trend line, but I wanted to keep it on um, because it, it does seem that we we have reacted to that a little bit, a little bit. It, it doesn't matter that much. We'll, we'll just delete it. So what we can see with Solana right now is that obviously we had that that nice those nice bullish months going all the way up to forty two dollars, which is great. We also expected that drop down from there. Um, and after that, we, we dropped down to $32. That actually held very well. You can see that that, that whole level around $32 actually held um, almost all the time, except for the 30th of, of June. Um, and after that, we actually started to, to go up a little bit more. We were tested by these EMAs, these line as you, lines, lines, as you can see, uh, rejected off of 28, off of the 50, not off of the 100. We actually broke retested off of that. Um, but now the main thing you can see and and I don't use triangles to to trade. Um, this is a, a a weirder triangle. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I don't use triangles to trade, but I do think it's 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 good to see some sort of a market structure. So we're not going to 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 use this trend line. We're just going to use what what we see. Right, higher lows. We see higher lows and we see a strong resistance level above us, which we have rejected to already twice. That's uh, that's this level here between uh, 36.85 and uh, 35.85. So it's so it's about a dollar in 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 prices in a level. So that's the main resistance level we would need to break. And I think we're actually able to break that. You can also see in the market, uh, Bitcoin is above 20,000 again. I also think it's going up to 21,000. Everything is correlated with Bitcoin. And therefore, I also think Solana has a, has a good chance of breaking above that. Um, now, that, that there is some, th there is a problem, right? Because I think that if we break above 36.8, um, we're already relatively bullish. But the main problem is, is that just above that level at around 38.5, there's this 200 EMA. So if we're breaking above 36.8, we would really need to stay above that whole $36 level um, because once we've broken above 36.8, um, it doesn't matter if we drop down below 36.8, but we should stay above 30, 36, right? That's that's usually what happens with a key level. You have to break above the upper bound, but then you can find support at the lower bound, if, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, please let me know down in the comments. Um, but we should stay above 36. So that 200 EMA is going to give us some resistance. But as long as we stay above $36, I think we can actually um, start up a, an uptrend at least up to $40. And from there, I'll probably update it again. Um, but I also think we can reach that whole level around $42 again with Solana. Um, so I'm, I'm relatively bullish. Of course, you should know I, I could be completely wrong, but but this is what I think is the most likely scenario right now. And and if you know me, if you know this channel, you know I'm, I'm usually not too optimistic about uh, crypto. I try to be realistic, um, and and this in my eyes really seems like the most realistic scenario. Um, so yeah, if you do have any questions about anything I said or about this analysis, please let me know down in the comments. Um, uh, for now, I also have an, an interesting partnership with the Fairdesk Exchange, where if you sign up right now, you can earn up to a 5,000 USDT bonus. If you're interested in that, check that out. Um, but for now, that was the video. So thank you all for watching and listening, and I surely hope to see you all in my next videos too.